welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well today i was craving some jamaican style stewed peas so i decided to bring you guys in the kitchen while i make this so to get started i have some chicken foot and some pig tail i went ahead and washed it thoroughly and i'll be using some small red peas usually kidney beans is used for the recipe but i felt like using the smaller ones i had this soaking for about six hours and some garlic and thyme I will be using some coconut milk, pimento berries, I have my favorite seasoning here, but feel free to use whatever kind of seasonings you like. I have some all-purpose seasoning, bouillon, mushroom seasoning, complete black pepper, some fresh green seasoning, and here are my aromatics. I have some onions, bell peppers, thyme, garlic, ginger, green onions, and some habanero peppers. So let's start by boiling the pigtail and chicken foot first. The pigtail is salted, so I want to boil that, pour off that first water, and then we will add it to the peas. The peas has been soaking, so I wanted to get a head start with boiling the meats first because they will take a longer time to cook. We'll give it about 20 minutes or so. So once the meats are done, we're going to add it to our peas. And I wanted to flavor the peas up while it's cooking. So we're gonna add the pimento berries here. We'll also add one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and the fresh green seasoning. We'll give it a good stir, cover, and allow this to boil until the peas are nice and tender and the meat is fully cooked. While the pot is bubbling, let's go ahead and make some spinners. Spinners are Jamaican style dumplings and you can't have stew peas without the dumplings. So we're gonna make that. I have in this bowl some flour, cornmeal, salt and sugar. Super simple. We're gonna add some water to that a little at a time until we form a nice dough. Once the dough is formed, we'll cover and allow it to sit until we are ready for it later. After about 40 minutes, our peas should be nice and tender. As you can see, most of the liquid has dried out. But don't worry, we'll be adding our coconut milk next. So once the peas are tender, you're going to test it. Once it's nice and soft, like so, we'll go ahead and start adding our coconut milk. We'll add the coconut milk and then I will add some water to the can so I can get all of it. And, you know, we're just creating that sauce as well or gravy. So once we add that, we will go in with our aromatics. We'll add our seasonings as well as our thyme and habanero peppers. If you have scotch bonnet pepper, you can use that. But I don't get that here, so I'm using what I have. You can use any kind of hot peppers, to be honest. It doesn't matter. Then we will cover this and allow it to simmer on medium heat for a good 30 minutes. The last five minutes, we'll add our spinners and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So this is basically the end result of my Jamaican style stew peas. It smells absolutely amazing. I feel like this is one of those underrated Jamaican dishes like curry goat and oxtail get all the love but stew peas like hardly anyone even know about this like they don't even sell it really in the 
restaurant you know so it is so good and it is underrated in my opinion now let me plate everything up and show you guys the finished product so i pair this up with some plain white jasmine rice vegetables on the side and fried ripe plantains the stew piece is so loud and mouth watering you just need simple sides to go with it not too much I really enjoyed it. I went back for seconds, thirds, and I couldn't get enough. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys make your stew peas. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for your girl. I will be leaving all the ingredients that I used and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day and enjoy.